All right, y'all, let's talk about worst fast foods. So as you can see, the background, is, the white balance is a little off, so you really can't see it. But I'm at McDonald's. I decided to come here. I said, you know what? I'm about to be on my way back to San Antonio. I'm coming from Dallas. I might just give me some, some quick food. Let me just get like a, a little McDouble, a fry. Boom. Something slight, right? As a, as a person that doesn't eat cheese, I always make sure to say, hey, no cheese, only blank, blank, and blank. I get there. Cheese is on the burger. I'm in the drive though. So now I have to get out of my car. I have to go inside. Get there. I now I'm now I'm like, I tell her, she's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Give her the burger. She takes the burger. I don't get the burger for like seven minutes. I get up like, yo, can I have some new fries? Bro, my fries are cold at this point. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, thanks, blah, blah. Ha, ha. I said, well, where's the burger? And I was like, they brought the hot fries. I still don't have the burger. Oh, crap. The burger was just sitting right there, basically, in the back, some shit. I'm like, bro. Damn. Damn. But to be fair, the lady at the end did apologize. It offered me apple pie and a cookie. At this point, I didn't even really want the apple pie and the cookie. I'm an apple pie guy. I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I just want I just want the food. I just want the meat. Pause. But I just wanted the food. So now I'm here. I'm about to eat my food before I go on the road. But I just had to give you all this because McDonald's service is just, it's just so low. Chick-fil-A. Even Wendy's. Like, we're, we're talking McDonald's. is like, you know what? I blame myself. I, I'm at the point where I have to blame myself for this because I showed up here at this point. I, I'm This is my self-reflection. I have to let I'll show you. You all know this. Do not come to McDonald's and expect them to get your order right. <clears throat> all right, y'all. Let's, let's have a conversation about drivers. This is my thing. If you're in the left lane, why, like, why are you driving the same speed as the 18 wheelers? Now, I'm not saying speed. I'm just saying at least follow the flow of traffic. The people like that are slow, are literally messing up. Tra it's how traffic starts. It's one bold person that wants to slow down everyone else. I'm literally like, you know, uh, in those dips in the highway. You can look up and you can see like, oh, there goes one car, there goes 20 cars behind him. So that one car is the reason why all these other cars are, are slowing down traffic. And I just want to know, who are you? I want to find you because I want to interview and ask you, so you, do you just not care? Like, are you that bold enough? So when someone else, you, you say, you know what? I'm inconveniencing everyone else, but you know what? I'm doing my thing. I don't care. I'm driving my own speed and I can respect that. But God damn, maybe I need, maybe I need to understand that in some ways, but like they don't give a rip about anybody else. Cause you're just driving your speed. I'm driving 70 or 80, by the way. It's just, in Texas, the speed limit is like 75 minimum, which means like if you're going 80, you're only five over, which means you're, you're within a legal range. If you're driving under 80 on the left lane, you're crazy. You're crazy. That means you're saying, after this, I'm doing what I want to do, bro. And if you're driving under 75, you're this demonic manager. This is demon time. You say, I don't give a rip about, I don't care about nobody. So I want to know, who are you that's doing this and why? All right, y'all. So today... We are heading to Dallas, Texas, to AT&T Stadium for the Texas High School Football State Championship. I'm going to be vlogging this whole this whole trip. Um, it's only going to be a day. Get in the hotel. Uh, Got to be at the game by seven. I'm going to be with with a with a mentor type figure before. Get some lunch. Get checking the hotel by like four ish. Then we're going to head to the stadium. Make sure we find parking. Get there. See some other games. Will be a ton of D1 prospects. This is, should be lit, and I'm very excited about this. And you know, like always, there's a fit check. Of course, we got the air guys. You know, like you know, just 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 something to, to set the outfit off, right? So that's what I usually like to do. This is a moment. I thought to go with this this shirt. You all let me know what you think with the this underneath gives it a little business casual vibe, you know. So with the black chinos. I think it's fire. Let's go. All right, y'all. Made it to the hotel. I can't lie. 
So I booked this hotel, Hotels.com, which I love, by the way. So shout out Hotels.com. But didn't do my extensive research. This hotel, I, I mean, I'm not bougie. I'm not trying to be bougie. This is just a little bit below my standard. I'm like, I, I got here. Lighting is horrible. But, you know, at the end of the day, what does it have? It has a bed. <laughs> it's kind of all you need. I'm just here for a night. I seen a bed. But it's the little stuff like, like this. Hey, look at this. Look, is, is this changing my experience? It's not. This is being annoying, right? But it's just like that little thing describes everything. So overall, it's Simply Sweets. It's solid. We're going to see. Now, again, before here, I did go to lunch with a mentor type figure. Uh, that was great. So now it's time to head to the Cowboys game. Let's get there. To the stadium. We go. And yeah, so last night was a vibe. The Cowboys game was a vibe. Like, like, I mean, I'm sorry, not the Cowboys game. The state championship game was a vibe. Everyone knows I'm a huge Cowboys fan. So for me to be able to cover a high school state championship at Jerry World is just amazing. Like, I've been there as a fan once, but to be there as a journalist, like my dream, is, is just crazy inspirational. And it's like, you know what? You're going to be here one day. Like, for real, for real, be here one day. Just that motivation is sometimes you just need that. And that was so much love. Like, I, man, after I was on the field, me and my coworker, we were doing the DAC. Y'all know the DAC. Hey, 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 hey. Like, come on, we, we throwing some passes. Like, go, I'm telling you, that was insane. It was crazy. Just being on the field, being by the star. Y'all know I'm dropping all videos in here. Like, y'all already know. Y'all already saw the collage before this. I was dropping all of this because we were, I mean, come on. Interviews after the game were amazing. Bunch of kids going to Texas, Bama, LSU. You could, I'm literally having a chance to meet the next faces of the league I love. And that's beautiful. But that was our last game of high school football season. And next week, we start getting into basketball. Let's go. On another note, make sure you all go like, subscribe, share. I just had two other vlogs come. We had, I went to Baylor University and we had, I went to the Raw Wave concert. These are both amazing vlogs. I'm keeping them short for you all. All right, y'all. Didn't bring my mic, but I just wanted to show you all. I'm in the sauna. Just got back. So, you know, let me go straight to the gym so I don't get too tired. Use the bathroom. Then went to the gym. Seven minutes from my house. And now we're ending the leg day off with a sauna session. Got to do the sauna. 
it just relaxes me OD. Then I'm gonna get back at this and this will be up hopefully by Sunday morning.